Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Again, this is the end of my Wednesday, coming at you guys on Thursday, so yeah, that's normal with me now. <laughs> Today, much less controversial topic. We're in 1 Kings chapter 10, and this is something that every believer should strive for. This is really amazing. The Queen of Sheba comes and visits Solomon. And she is absolutely blown away by his wisdom, by his kingdom, by the things he's built. Starting in verse 6, Then she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in my own land about your words and your wisdom. However, I did not believe the words until I came and saw with my own eyes. And indeed the half was not told me. Your wisdom and prosperity exceed the fame of which I heard. Happy are your men, and happy are these your servants, who stand continually before you and hear your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, who delighted in you, setting you on the throne of Israel. Because the Lord has loved Israel forever, therefore he made you king, to do justice and righteousness. Now how awesome is it when someone who does not even believe in your God is like, you know what? You're an, you're an awesome person. And your God must be pretty awesome too, to have made you. I don't think there's really a much higher compliment than that. For them to give praise to my God, a God that's not even theirs, because of what I'm doing. I'm not saying that's really happened to me before. I think something, something I've, I've gotten compliments. People say that they see Christ in me, and they say that they see, like, light in me. Not like I'm some giant, uh, giant flashlight or anything weird like that. Not like Moses, who literally glowed. But they can tell a difference. And that is so awesome to me when I when people say that to me. That has happened from a few non-believers before, and that is the most humbling, amazing experience in the world. When someone who doesn't believe in God, not really interested in believing in God, but they they tell you that they see God in you. And that, you know what? You you know, for a Christian you're you're alright. You're a pretty decent guy. I don't think it gets much more awesome than that, and that is something, I'm not saying I'm consistent at it or perfect at it, but I'm just saying that's something every believer should strive for, that our light so shine that even the non-Christians have to give praise to our God because of how we're living, because of who we are. That's an, that is a high calling and a high goal. If ever I heard one, I'm gonna, I've gotten a few compliments before, and I'm going to keep striving for that so that people will ask me the reason for the hope that's in me. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. And God bless.